in this OGE, we find the exact value of sine inverse cosine 2 pi over 3. So if you get a problem like that, and you can see that we have two different type of uh, trigonometric functions. One is sine, one is cosine. So that means the cancellation law does not work for problems like that. So what we're going to do, we first find the exact values of cosine 2 pi over 3, and then take the inverse sine of that. So do that. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to use reference angle method. Uh, for that, we first need to find the um, where the angle is. And you can see that pi is um, 180. So pi over 3 is 60. So 2 pi over 3 means 120. 120 means it is in the second quadrant. So if you look at the angle, so what we're going to do, let's draw the angle first. So, um, so it's in the second quadrant. So this is how it looks like. And then, uh, so that's the angle. So it is uh, 120. Um, so we have the angle here. So theta. So the angle. So, um, so it's the angle. Now what we're going to do, uh, so this is uh, a 2 pi over 3. So the theta equal, uh, actually we have the exact value, so it is 2 pi over 3. So what we first need to do is we find, need to find the reference angle. So this angle is pi, this is a straight line. So the, uh, so the reference angle, that means the difference between the angle and the uh, pi, which is pi over 3. So that's the uh, reference angle. We, uh, we normally call theta r. So, and then we also need to know what is the uh, sine of uh, this angle. Uh, like, uh, what is the sine of uh, cosine 2 pi over 3, whether it's positive or negative. So, for that, we can use the standard ASTC argument. So, that means, um, so this is all sine tan cosine. But since this angle is in the second quadrant, and which is not sine or cosecant, so that means the cosine has to be negative. So cosine is negative. So now we can use the reference angle method to find um, this one. So what we're going to do, uh, we can rewrite the problem. So which is sine inverse cosine 2 pi over 3. And then we know that the uh, reference angle is pi over 3. So that means according to the reference angle method, the cosine 2 pi over 3 is equal to negative. We know that it's in the second quadrant, so which is negative. Cosine, the reference angle. So the reference angle is, uh, in this case, uh, pi over 3. So it's cosine pi over 3. And then a cosine pi over 3, we know the exact value of that. So that means this is simply a sine inverse. Uh, negative cosine pi over 3 equals to 1 half. So, uh, so this is coming from the tables. Uh, this is one of the uh, common values. And then uh, we know that the uh, sine inverse is an odd function. Sine inverse is an odd function. That means we can pull the negative sign out. So that means a negative sine inverse 1 half. And then uh, we know that sine inverse 1 half is pi over 6. So that means, uh, so we get this as the exact value of sine inverse cosine 2 pi over 3. So if you are not familiar with how to use the uh, reference angle method, and you can see uh, there's a link in the description uh, to the uh, main video where we use the uh, reference angle method to find both uh, degrees, uh, the, the, the ratios of both degrees and uh, tangent uh, values. And then also, if you need to know more problems, if you want to practice more problems like that, you can also find there's another link in the description that have uh, uh, that's, uh, that links uh, refer to the main video about how to find inverse trigonometric functions. Thank you.